Mudo's beta layout is now no longer beta. It's now a fully equipped single layout for doing pretty much any task Modo is capable of. So at the top of the UI, there are now fewer available layouts. So you have the default Modo layout, the model animate render, and also the VR layout. Now, if you want access to the older layouts, then if you just click on the start only button, you can get access to them pretty quickly. But just having a few available helps to clean the UI up. The tool palettes have now been fully updated to contain all the tools that you're going to need. And this includes the context sensitive tool palette, which has also been fully updated. Some notable changes to the tool palettes are the addition of the measuring tools. The snaps and precision tools have been embedded into the move, rotate and scale tool choices. There's now a dedicated tab for all of the selection tools and the center selection tools have now been moved to the edit menu and exposed so they're faster to use. And also holding down the Alt key will give you an alternate set of commands. The collapsible forms at the top and the bottom of the main viewport now have two additional workbench areas. And this gives you more space for adding your favorite tools, scripts, kits, or macros. The buttons at the top right hand corner of the UI are now context sensitive. So with the item list visible, I have buttons for duplicating and instancing items, parenting items, and exporting a layer or scene. If I go to shading, I have buttons for duplicating, instancing textures, selecting polygons from textures and saving presets. And if I go to groups, I get buttons for adding, removing and selecting items and channels. And if I change the combination of forms on the right hand side of the UI, so I go to scenes and groups, these buttons will update to reflect that. And finally, the Alt Spacebar Pi menu has been updated. So you can still swap in and out the left, right and lower viewports, but you can now also change the main viewport. So for example, if I wanted to do some topology work, I can simply go to a new layer, bring in my topology tools and just swap to topology and everything is set up ready for me to start working.